everybody. Happy Friday. So did you like that? I was outside shoveling the, the driveway and the sidewalks. We didn't get nearly as much snow as they thought we would get, and that's fine with me. But it was nice, and it was pretty. So I didn't have much to, to shovel. And the sun beats down on my driveway, so it always melts. But across the street, they don't get the sun. And so their driveway is always icy and snowy. I feel so bad for them. But, um, so I just had like this much snow to just shovel off the driveway. It was simple. It was like all powdery. It was nice. And I'm sure by now most of it's already melted off. So that was my exercise for the morning. And this happens to be my Ba Bum Hug sweatshirt. Bum Hug instead of Humbug. Just a quick note, as I'm sitting here editing this video, the front of my shirt says Ba Humbug. The back of my shirt says Ah Bum Hug. I got this at the Dickens Festival a couple years ago, and I love it. It's my very favorite. It's just like a Christmas festival at like an expo place, and they have all sorts of craft booths and treats and food, a craft fair. But it's Dickens style, so everybody um, that works there, they um, dress up in that era, like Scrooge era, and it's fun, and they'll go around singing and oh, 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 doing their caroling, it's great. I don't know if they're doing it this year, they didn't do it last year because of world events, but I don't know if they're doing it this year, I haven't heard anything about the Dickens Festival. That's okay, it's too crowded in those things, and I don't need any treats or crafts or nothing so I'm good um let me think I have to make a second attempt to mail my friends present today I went yesterday to Harmon's because they've got a post office in there but their postal machine was down and so hopefully it's running back up today um, but I did call in a prescription, so I'll give it another half hour before I go. And then um, if their machine's still not working today, then at least I can pick up my prescriptions. I will not have gone there for nothing. I just hate going to a real post office because the lines are just insane at this time of year. And if I ship at UPS, it costs like twice as much. So that's a negative. I'm not going to do it. So we'll see. In the meantime, I got nothing else. I got nothing. I got nothing. I don't know what I want for lunch. I don't want another egg boat. I've kind of gotten over the egg boats already. That one yesterday was big and it just put me under. I'm done with the egg boats for a while. And I do have one more boiled egg in the fridge, but I don't even want it. There's just nothing I want. So anyway, I guess I will check you later. All right, I decided to have a lean cuisine. It's been in my freezer for a while. So I figured out best to eat it. It's the Vermont White and Cheddar. Cavat tappy pasta in a rich Vermont white cheddar cheese sauce. And these are really good, you guys. They truly are. And I have, I put pepper in it and um, some onion powder, not salt. But anyway, that looks pretty good. And they are good. Hop. It will never need salt. It's kind of salty. Yes, frozen foods are packed with sodium, etc. I know.
but they sure do taste good. I'm about to go to try to mail my package, but look at what my little niece, Allie, gave us in the mail. She mailed us this. It says, Dear, Dear Aunt Tay Tay and Uncle Daryl, and she spelled his name D-A-R-I-L. <laughs> it's D-A-R-Y-L. Merry early Christmas. I can't wait to go to your house again on Christmas Day. I love you. Sincerely, Allie. Is that not the most precious? She is absolutely a doll. So she's the older one. She's the oldest, and then her little sister's name is Abby. Her name is Abigail Tracy. Yep, they named the little one, they gave her my middle name. Or they gave her middle name my first name. You know what I'm saying. I just, I, this is so cute. I'm gonna save it forever. You guys are locked out. First of all, I walk in and there's nobody at the post office standing in line. Nobody. And so I was like, uh, is your postal machine open today? Is it working? And she goes, yeah. I was like, yeah. So I got in, got my package shipped, went right next door, got my prescription right away. And then I looked at some stuff. Christmas stuff and then on my way out the door the line for the post office was huge it was massive I locked out yo and of course I had to buy some stuff so I bought these darling little name tags $1.59 a pack there's like people driving next to me aren't they cute and there are 16 tags in each that's like Dollar Tree, because Dollar Trees are $1.50 now, so that's pretty darn good. And then I bought some string. They, they were on sale for $2 and something. Wait. Yeah, $2.39. These are all $2.39 a piece. So I got this. It's like satiny, just satiny off-white rope string. Super cute. I'm totally into string. And then I got some of this fuzzy stuff. You don't get very much, like this is only 9.8 feet, but it's super cute. It's always good to have string laying around, cute string, and then I got the same thing in red. Is that not cute? Is it wiry? No, it's just like thick yarn, thick felt yarn. 
And that's it. And then my prescription. I stopped off at the post office, my P.O. box, and I found some Christmas cards from some of y'all. I'm so excited. So when we get home, I'll open them. And you know, something I've noticed, I sniff a lot. I'm always, <laughs> and sometimes I think it's just a nervous habit when I'm on here, because I don't sniff at home. I mean, I don't sniff normally. I just sniff when I'm on camera. <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. So, so I'm just, you know, if I'm a sniffer, I'm sorry. If my sniffing bothers you, I'm sorry. And now that I said it, we're always going to be noticing. So, every time I sniff, take a drink of your favorite drink. Don't matter to me what it is. Just as long as you have fun. Oh, it's a great day. And you know what else I've noticed? I haven't been listening to my Christmas music because... I don't, since I don't work anymore, I used to work in upstairs and I used to do transcription. And then when everything happened, they um, had to close down. It was a little small family owned company and they just decided to retire and close it all down. So I lost my job, but I would always listen to Christmas music every single morning for four hours straight while I was working. And I loved it. And at Halloween time, I'd always listen to Halloween music four hours straight, just from Pandora. I'd just stick it on Pandora and play Halloween music, Christmas music, whatever. And so, you know, the holidays go by and it doesn't seem as cheery because I'm not listening to the music. Ugh. So, yeah. I just discovered that. So I'm gonna have to like, just take some time and just meditate. I was gonna say hesitate. <laughs> just meditate and listen to my cheerful songs so yeah here we are everybody I opened up your letters or cards and I read each and every one and I am just so grateful you guys are all so sweet to me so this one here this one is from Heather D Jeremy and Anna Marie and look at that the Decker family. So cute. That's precious. She said, we would like to wish you and Daryl and Momo a very Merry Christmas. I hope this finds you all well. You are welcome to share Anna's picture on YouTube if you would like. I'm so glad you are doing videos again. I always look forward to them and you always make me laugh. You are a beautiful person inside and out. Don't ever feel like you aren't. With lots of love from Kentucky, Heather D and Jeremy and Anna Marie. Thank you so much. Look at her. She is an absolute adorable gem. This is absolutely stinking cute. Oh my gosh, thank you. What a sweet card, thank you. And this one, is super cute. It's a, Mar a Maryland Christmas and it's like the partridge in a pear tree. It's got the 12 lighthouses shining, 11 ravens bashing, 10 John Hopkins docks hopping, 9 Orioles batting, 8 Biot... Oh, I thought it said Biotch blobs. <laughs> 8 Biotech blobs. Um, seven blue crabs pinching, six Civil War reenactments, five golden asters, four Fells Point pubs, three An An Annapolis midshipmen, two Chesapeake, Chesapeake Bay boaters, and a partridge commuting to D.C. That is so cute. It's a mouthful. 
<laughs> Tracy and Daryl, season's greetings. Thank you for all of the joy your kindness-filled videos have brought me. Love, Holly. Dixie Lou Blue. Oh, thanks so much for this darling card. Oh my heck. This was so fun to read. I honestly thought that said um, eight biatch blobs. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. And this is from Kathy Richardson. Look at that. That looks like my doggy when she was a puppy. And my little kitties. Tracy and Daryl and Momo wishing you many peaceful moments this Christmas season. Merry Christmas. Love, Kathy Richardson. And then inside, she put this really cool year-at-a-glance calendar. These are always convenient to keep in your purse. And on the back, it says, The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. I love it. Thank you so much, Kathy. And then this one is a beautiful card, and it says, Tracy and Daryl, may the peace and blessings of Christmas be yours today and always. Merry Christmas, love your channel. Um, Rhonda Christian. I hope that says Rhonda, I'm sure it does. Crowded Isolation, I, I see your name every now and then in the comments, Crowded Isolation. Thank you so much, what a beautiful card, thank you. And this one says, Peace at Christmas time. Look how pretty. I love that. And this one is from Nancy Mor. <laughs> Hold on. Mor Moragin. Mor I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> I'm so happy you are back, Tracy. I was able to retire this year, home health aid, nurse aid but continue to do volunteer work at a shelter in at a cat shelter in my area. I've never been to Utah, but seeing some of the videos you create, Utah is beautiful. Please take care, both you and Daryl, and tugs to Momo. You have a lot of creative talents. Thank you for just being you. And it says, wishing you peace now and throughout the year. Merry Christmas and happy, healthy, safe New Year 2022. Sending love and prayers your way, Nancy M., one of your many subscribers. Thank you. That is so cute, Nancy. That is very sweet of you to say all that. Thank you. And then she has super cute stickers on her envelope. And last but not least, look at this. Sparkle. I love glitter. I don't know if it's coming up on the screen, but it's so cute. A little gingerbread house. And this is from Sandy Hayer. I don't know, I can't read your last name. Wishing you happiness and cheer enough to last throughout the year. I'm a subscriber of, your, a subscriber of yours on YouTube. I, ha I love your blogs and wanted to wish you and your husband Merry Christmas. Thanks, Sandy. That's so sweet of you. I love this little card. You guys, thank you so much. I just appreciate you all, and I just think you're all the greatest. I got my Mary Kay order today. My Mary Kay lady, where does she live? She lives in St. George, um, Utah, and every Christmas she has a sale, and if you order from midnight to 6 a.m., you get 30% off, and then from 6 a.m. to whenever, it just gets a little bit less and less and less. So, of course, I stayed up till midnight and ordered. But I just ordered two things, and they're both the same. I love the Mary Kay Oil Free Makeup Remover, Eye Makeup Remover. I love it. It's the only thing I get. I've tried a few drugstore, well, one drugstore, it was a L'Oreal brand years ago when I ran out of this, because I only wear waterproof mascara, and this takes the waterproof off better than anything I've ever used. Now, I don't know about Lancome and all those because I've never bought that stuff. It's expensive. These are, what are they, $14 a piece? They might have gone up, but I can't remember. But anyway, 
they're so wonderful they look like that it looks really oily but it's not it's there's no oil in it and you just shake it up and I put some on a cotton round and just that one squirt will take off both eyes I use the one side of the cotton round and then I fold it in half on the clean side and I use one half of the clean side and then I'll use the other half of the clean side just that one squirt on my cotton round takes off all my eye makeup and it's not like I go I just go this lasts me forever I still have one in my closet but you can never have too many of these so I won't need another one for at least a year I, I just love this stuff it's amazing but she also sent me some little goodies in here I don't know oh. she sent me a lifesaver there you go <laughs> uh, looks like one of her kids drew on this she has the cutest little kids Tracy thank you so much for the order enjoy your items Merry Christmas love you Kim <laughs> Look at that her kids must have drawn on that that is so cute I can't stand it I just love it I love when little kids do stuff like that <laughs> oh cool and then she sent me a little gift I love these these are the satin hands lotion oh satin body exfoliant Revitalizing Shea Scrub. I've never had this before. The Satin Body Scrub. Interesting. I wonder if it smells like something. Ooh. Ooh, it smells nice. Oh, I can't wait to try that. My whole body needs some scrubbing. Cool. Thanks, Kim. She doesn't know I vlog. She doesn't know. She can't hear me right now, but I'm telling you thanks. I just love you. So there's my Mary Kay. And then she always has another sale in July, but I usually don't need anything. So in this cupboard is where I keep all of my nail polishes and whatnot. And I know, ooh, I forgot about this. I only wore it once. I like it. Um, I'm looking for, am I looking for this? No. I think I have a sparkly red polish in here for Christmas, but I'm not sure. I've got to get a new system. Got to get a new system. I know. I have red nail polish, red sparkly. Oh, is it this? I think it's this. I think it's called Ruby Slippers. Yet yeah, Ruby Pumps. I think I want to wear this for the holidays. I've got to cut my nails. They are just too long. <laughs> I know they don't look too long, but they are. They are bugging me, so I've got to file them down and then put my nail polish on. Maybe I'll just do that tomorrow because I don't know what's going on. If we're going out to dinner tonight or what, and I don't want to nick my nail. Project. Want to do anything with this one? No, Mr. Doyle ultimately decided. All right, my dinner tonight consists of bean with bacon soup. Don't worry, it hasn't been cooked yet. There, that looks much better. I'm just gonna let this sit for a minute and thicken up and go chill out and eat it on my bed.
because I wasn't feeling well earlier. My stomach hurt really badly. It just turned on like that. I don't know if it was some sort of gallbladder issue. Even though I have my gallbladder out, I still get major pain sometimes. So it finally went away and I'm exhausted and I do not want to do the treadmill or exercise tonight. I've just got to eat something and rest. So being with bacon it is. Welcome to the closet, everybody. I'm just sleepy and tired and just trying to get some rest. I don't know, Daryl came home from work and not long after, I just got a severe pain in my stomach. I've had it before and I just don't know what it is. The doctors don't know what it is. So, it finally went away. I don't know if it's GERD or acid indigestion or reflux or I mean I don't burn up in here. I hurt right here and it goes all the way through my back and it just is horrible. It's horrendous. It's just so painful and I started crying and stuff and I just don't want to have to go back to the doctor and get more tests done. I'm just tired of it. So anyway, I'm going to have to though. But So I'm not doing the treadmill and I'm not doing my legs or sit-ups or anything. I'm just going to relax and maybe listen to some Christmas music and just enjoy myself while I'm feeling better now. The pain lasted a good half hour or more. So, anyway, it is what it is, don't I always say that? So, I'm not going to be held accountable for not exercising tonight. I just, I'm, it's for my own good. Alright, so tomorrow is Saturday. I have a ton of laundry to do. And maybe we'll fix up the neighbor gifts, get them all put together. I honestly don't know what's in store. Saturdays and Sundays are kind of boring. You know, Daryl's home and he's asleep half the time. And I don't like making a bunch of noise and because he has insomnia and so on the weekends he just like tries to sleep all day long it's just horrible but anyway enough about our problems um yeah thanks for hanging out with me today the vlogmas is really fun um I cannot believe I've made it this far. Ten days in a row, people. Ten days in a row. <laughs> it's fun. I mean, if I stop doing it every day, I'm going to feel like, I don't know, I'm going to feel bad. So I might have to just keep this up. But you know I won't. But you know I might. But probably not. But maybe will. <laughs> Anywho. I just love you, and you guys are always saying such nice things in your comments, and I appreciate it so much. You always uplift me. You raise my spirits, and I just love you all for that. You are so nice and kind, and just thanks for being here. Thank you. I'm going to get my jammies on and get cozy, brush my teeth. I'm not taking a shower tonight. I'm going to just look and smell like poo poo for bed <laughs> anyway I gotta go <sighs> so I hope you'll have a wonderful sleepy and we'll see you next time
Good night, everybody. Eight biatch blobs. <laughs>